I'm uh, Mick McGregor at Suncor Energy. I'm a senior development engineer. My name is Tom Reinders. I'm a technology development engineer at Devon Canada. Our project's a collaboration between Suncor Energy, Devon Canada, and Suez Water Technologies and Solutions to uh, develop high temperature reverse osmosis to treat recycled water for use in the in situ oil sands industry. We're hoping to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and reduce our impact overall in our production of oil uh, when utilizing these membranes. With the technology that's used today to treat water in the in situ oil sands industry, we have to lower the temperature of the water to make it suitable for this technology. And so reverse osmosis offers the potential to elevate the uh, temperature of the water treatment process. This will make the process more efficient and allow us to reduce footprint, reduce GHG emissions, and reduce costs. Reverse osmosis is a common way to clean water on an industrial scale. Think of the filter in your faucet. When you treat water through that membrane, the water is then cleaner. And when you then boil that water in a kettle, you don't have any scale develop. It's the same for steam generation in SAG-D facilities. If you can use cleaner water, you produce steam more efficiently. But reverse osmosis typically doesn't work at high temperatures. In in-situ oil sands, recovered water comes out of the ground at high temperatures, meaning that in order to clean it, the water has to be cooled down, then cleaned, then heated back up again to produce steam. This process is inefficient from a cost perspective. High temperature reverse osmosis, one of eight projects funded by ERA's Oil Sands Innovation Challenge, lets in-situ oil sands operations clean water without cooling it down reducing cost, and importantly, emissions. We think that this technology is groundbreaking because, uh, you know, to our knowledge, no one has ever tried to develop a commercial membrane facility at the temperatures that we run at in our, in our industry. Um, and we think that by pushing that envelope even further, we can find real efficiency gains in the way that we um, operate our facilities in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. But we also think that we can reduce the footprint of our current SAG-D facilities to, to really reduce our, our impact on land as well. High temperature reverse osmosis has applications outside the oil sands industries. There's a number, number of industries where high temperature reverse osmosis could make the process more efficient. There's no reason if this technology is successful why it couldn't be used for every incremental barrel of uh, in situ oil sands production.